I want to talk about something. Portal. I haven't played Portal 1, but Portal 2 still remains one of my favorite games ever. I love the writing, I love the story, I love the gameplay, I love the visuals. Everything about this game was just so well done. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I'm here to talk about is a Portal fan film. No, not that Portal fan film, though that one is pretty good. I'm talking about this Portal fan film. It seems like this has swept the internet. There are so many responses, so many different videos for it, but there are two in particular from Clever Channels. Here's the one from Clever Games. There have been a lot of homages to Valve's famous Portal series, from Portal Cakes, Real Companion Cubes, and even a Wheatley Puppet. I am not a moron! I'm sorry, I couldn't resist that one. But nothing quite so highbrow as the new fan film Portal No Escape. The film was directed by Dan Trachtenberg from Revision 3's Totally Rad Show. He's been directing a number of commercials for major companies and also turned heads with his short horror film More Than You Can Chew. The short stars Daniel Rain, who is a working TV actress, and I'm guessing she's portraying Shell, but that isn't exactly stated. But regardless, she looks badass. The film was scored by Mike Zarin, best known as the composer for the first Inception trailer, and the visual effects supervisor was John Chesson, who's worked on TV series like True Blood and V, in addition to the upcoming Mission Impossible movie Ghost Protocol. There are lots of fan films out there, but the production quality of this piece far supersedes the regular YouTube fare to be on par with studio-made pieces like Warner Brothers Mortal Kombat Legacy Series. You can click the link below to watch the full film and let us know what you thought about it by leaving a comment below. And here's the one from Clever Movies. What's up guys, I'm Tatiana Carrier and I've got the details on a Portal short that we think may have some big budget potential. A fan made a short based on the highly successful Portal video game franchise recently debuted it on YouTube entitled Portal No Escape. The short was directed by Dan Trechenberg, who recently took to Twitter about the release, saying, 1.5 years in the making and it's finally out. Looking forward to hearing what you think. And we're thinking maybe, just maybe, if this YouTube release short gets enough views, it may just make it to the big screen. A fun fact about this short, the score you hear in it is by Mike Zarin, best known as the composer of the music in the first Inception trailer, which is kind of a big deal. Portal No Escape stars Daniel Rain and can be found on YouTube. You can click the link in our description to watch it for yourself and tell us what you think. Also, let us know if you think this short is good enough to be in a major motion picture. Now, both videos bring up that the composer for the music in this short is the same composer for the first Inception trailer music. And, yes, that does sound like a big deal, but given how big the movie Inception actually is. Especially how someone was actually able to get that kind of person to help them. Now, there are some hardcore fan complaints. Notably, that the main character, whom has not had a name confirmed, though some would believe it's Child, I'd like to believe it's a different character altogether. But anyways, the main character looks into the operational end of the portal device, as you see here. Didn't you guys technically look in the operational end of the portal device? Because, just look on the cover of Portal 2. Atlas is facing forward, with the portal gun facing forward as well. Thusly, you are looking at the operational end of the portal device without even knowing it. That may be a weak excuse, but, you know. But when it comes to adaptations, I like to think of liberties taken. Liberties. That's the key word. They can't stray too far from the source material, but they don't have to be an exact replica of the original creation. If we just saw Portal and Portal 2 on the big screen, we'd be like, oh, that's bullshit, we could get that on our video games. Same reason why I like when comic and video game adaptations do their best to take their liberties from the source material. I love it when they actually take the time to make some interesting different concepts that make them unique and not make them carbon copies of an original idea. Because if you saw Spider-Man or Iron Man or Captain America and the plot was exactly like the comics, then you'd claim it to be complete bullshit because you know that you'd get the same exact thing from the original fucking comics. That's why I'm pleased to see the liberties taken in this short. 
You don't hear GLaDOS, and none of the cores even make a cameo. Some people would have believed it was an entirely different concept if it weren't for the portal gun and the companion cube at the end. And it'd be pretty interesting to see that this would be made into a future film. But there is one top comic comment on one of the clever videos that mentions that if it would work, it would have to be done similarly to the games. Keep the dialogue from the main character to a bare minimum and the dialogue from the announcer, GLaDOS, the turrets, all that, pretty big. Because that's what makes the Portal series so interesting. The main character rarely, if ever, speaks. If this is kept in the film, that would make a very interesting film. Almost like a horror film in a sense. Another thing mentioned in one of the Clever videos is that this film took one and a half years to make. And given the amount of work taken on this video, I wouldn't blame him for taking that long. I mean, it really works hard to perfect a craft, especially if it takes many, many years to make. Even films that are said to have been complete shit take at least a year or two to make. Each of the Transformers films have been released at least two years apart. It was actually rumored that we wouldn't see a Transformers 3 until next year. But we ended up getting a Transformers 3 this year, because they actually got to work on it. And it took at least two years in order to work on all three films. Even your favorite films like Inception, or The Dark Knight, or Scott Pilgrim, whatever film you want to talk about, those take a lot of time to make. This really makes me curious as to what's in store for the future of not only the creator of this video, but for the Portal series in general. because. That's what I'm very interested in. Not just in the future of the Sly Cooper games, or the Transformers franchise, or whatever. I'm interested in what will happen in the remainder of the Portal series. But given that Valve has never really made a third entry in their series, <coughs> then I seriously doubt we're going to see a Portal 3. So that I assume a Portal fan film is going to be the closest we're going to get to another Portal series. Can't wait to see what's in store. Anyways, this is Transformers Fanco 328. I'm done, and I'll see you next time.